Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Bootstrap. This is my third video uh, showing the in-game benchmarks with the GTX uh, 970 SLI. Uh, this is the Rainbow's uh, Tom Clancy Siege 6, Rainbow Siege 6, I believe, uh, is what it's called. <laughs> I don't even know the friggin' name. That's pretty terrible. Um, but I got this free, um, and I could have got this or Assassin's Creed uh, Syndicate, but, uh, you know, s some reviews when that came out said it was, again, a better but still somewhat broken and needed a lot of work uh, so you know ran like crap on a whole bunch of hardwares which is becoming the norm for Ubisoft of course um, this one however uh, you know it's okay the gun models are freaking huge which make the whole thing look kind of cartoonish uh, but the graphics aren't bad and uh, pretty decent gameplay um, and the game's cool if you can deal with all the uh, micro transaction whoredom uh, but uh, if you can get over that it's not too bad um, 1440p 71 that's because of my IPS overclock monitor field of view 90 a little higher on this game wouldn't have hurt just due to the fact that uh, the gun models are so freaking huge but uh, this is what I'm using right now um, actually I had this TAA on it's not bad but in this game FXAA does just fine I'm going to go ahead and apply that um, everything else I've got pretty much maxed out. Uh, ambient inclusion I'm going to take off too because it's just, it doesn't do anything. It's the shadows and yeah, it doesn't do anything. I've not noticed any difference in the graphical fidelity. So I'm going to take that off and give myself some more uh, frames per second. Um, incidentally on 1970, uh, pretty much these same uh, um, settings when I ran the benchmark, I was hitting as low as low 40s in some places, and I don't get it. The game doesn't look that great, so, yeah, well, another one of those deals. Um, it does scale pretty decent on SLI when I ran this benchmark earlier. It's pretty good. Um, does hammer your CPU pretty good as well. Uh, now, this multi-sample anti-aliasing, there's no turning anti-aliasing off altogether. Oh, there is, actually, but this actually gives you worse performance than this, which is some kind of special filtering. Uh, it works. It does give you a very, very serious uh, improvement. And uh, if you're running, you know, 970 or lower, definitely use this. But if not for you other guys, there's the crazy stuff. But it's, you know, this has worked just fine for me. So let's take a look at this benchmark and see how Siege 6 runs on an SLI based on these pretty much maxed out for the most part other than a few niche settings here. So let's take a look. Obviously this game is very, very new, so not been out too long. So we have a minimum of 46.3, an average of 90.7, very playable, and 141.4 for the max. So not bad at all in SLI, obviously very playable. Um, I'm actually going to do a quick, uh, I'm just going to turn this post uh, anti-aliasing off completely and, and, and see how much of a difference that makes. Because FXA is not uh, a very taxing um, sort of anti-aliasing, but again, when you're playing on 1440p, the pixel density is so thick and it's so tight, I should say, it, it's hard to make out edges, really, unless it's just a piss-poor job of, uh, you know, the graphic fidelity. For the most part, you're pretty good without it. 
um, and I'm playing this on the 27 inch monitor and I am up close and I really don't have the jaggies problem so let me go ahead and just I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn this thing off altogether see if we get a uh, any decent bump compared to where we were at not that 90 frames per second on average is unplayable but if we don't lose much graphic fidelity and we can get even more why not let's see what we get as you can see there's not much difference guys from when the anti-aliasing was on and now that it's off pretty much everything looks the same to me let's see if we're really really trying to pick something out but did have a little dip there into 58 but that's hardly unplayable territory cards pretty close to or if not maxed out most of this benchmark and the CPUs at about 60 50 to 60 so pretty good let's see what we got this time yeah, pretty much the same so the FX a little bit better on the minimums uh, but you know the average and maximum don't really get affected much so that you know the FXA is not going to be giving you too much of a issue if you did want to leave it on I think it was 49 or something minimum with that on so uh, but there you go guys that's how Siege 6 will run with a pair of GTX 970s against these are not overclocked uh, due to the temperature issue I'm having with my second card uh, pretty much have to run it stock but still get some very very playable and very fun uh, frames per second so no problem at all and it does run pretty good uh, on SLI so hope you guys enjoyed this one I'm going to try and throw a couple of out a uh, couple of more videos out with the inbuilt uh, benchmarks for games they're quick they're easy and they still give you a kind of an idea of the performance you can have in game so uh, all you little lads and lasses have a good rest of your night or day or wherever the heck you might be so uh, i'll see you guys soon bootstrap